we're going this way. It's pretty dense. I'm getting ate up. I'm getting bit up ants, mosquitoes. However, we're on the hunt for cacao, so it doesn't matter. Let's go deeper and let's see what we can find. So I'm out here flirting with disaster. There is definitely no trails here. I am definitely not prepared for this trek. Even smaller baby pod. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind, this is wild cacao and it's growing. You ready for an adventure today? Come along with me. We're going on an exploration. I'm your host, Casey, and I'm excited to turn the camera on today. I'm excited to invite you guys along to do a little exploration with me today. Now, I am deep within the jungles of Mexico, here in the Lacandonian jungle, uh, in a town called Frontera Corazal. And Frontera, Cora Frontera Corazal is known as the launching point to get to the archaeological site of Yashilan. And I went yesterday to Yashilan and it's a beautiful adventure going deep within the jungles to uncover this beautiful site that's over a thousand years old, over 1500 years old in its prime. And I went to the site, there's howler monkeys, there's toucans, there's incredible nature, and it's just an incredible atmosphere to go to the site that's mostly still overgrown by this dense jungle and get to see some of these, these beautiful architecture, these beautiful buildings of a once thriving civilization back in, uh, it was at its peak about 600 AD. And so I went to this site, had a beautiful experience there. And then when I came back, I walked over to buy some fruit. And there it was. Something struck me out of the corner of my eye. I noticed in somebody's backyard, a cacao tree was growing. And so I have a hunch. I've got a feeling. And I want to invite you guys to explore with me and see if we can prove this right or wrong. Now this area here, the Lacandonian jungle, has been known for over a thousand years to be a cacao, a cacao growing region. Now, my hunch is that cacao still grows wild here in the jungle. So I'm gonna take you guys on a little exploration. We'll go visit these trees that I've already noticed. We'll talk a little bit about cacao, about how it grows, and we'll scratch, begin to scratch the surface of the beautiful, rich traditions, cultures, and history behind this amazing tree, this amazing plant. It's amazing medicine. I mean, there's so many ways we can label this. Cacao is a very special thing to me. And I want to invite you guys on a journey of exploration, a journey of discovery to see what we can find here. I've got a feeling we're in for an adventure here. We're going to go off the beaten path. I'm going to get bit up by mosquitoes for sure. So hopefully the video won't come out too shaky because I'll be scratching my skin. I'll be scratching my legs. I'll bring you guys along with me. We'll go on an adventure and see if we can discover the wild cacao here in the Lacandonia jungle in the heart of Mexico, Chiapas, Mexico. So welcome to another adventure. I'm going to go take a shower and get ready, and then I'll bring you guys along with me, and we'll go out on a hunt for wild cacao. Come on. So we are walking around here in Frontera Corazal looking for some cacao trees, wild grown cacao trees. I spotted a few already on the road. We are in the rural parts of Mexico here, outside, pretty deep in the jungle, although it doesn't look too much like it here in the town of Frontera Corazal. There's definitely signs that we are in the jungle. If you go just on the other side of the road, it's definitely jungle. Now this part has been cleared out a lot because it's turned into a small little pueblo. However, it's really rural. We just saw some wild pigs running around, uh, lots of wild dogs, lots of wild animals, howler monkeys all over the place. So we'll get some sounds of the howler monkeys. But right now, we are on the hunt for cacao trees. And I think there's some coming up this way. This is our first stop. I wanted to show you guys just so you can see. This is the first cacao tree I noticed just across the street from where I'm staying. This one is not looking very healthy. And you can notice the leaves here. I just want to show you so you can see. This is the leaves. Very noticeable how they grow, how they form, the color of them. And this tree is not doing too well. It's very sickly looking. Very few leaves on the tree, as you can see. 
Now, why is this? And I'll show you. I noticed earlier a little tiny cacao pod growing right here. Focus in on that. Little baby pod. Now, it's not going to grow very much further. Now, why is this tree not doing too well? Well, one of the main reasons is that cacao trees want to grow in shade and they are a shade growing tree. And as you can see, this tree, there's no shade around it. So that's why this tree is not doing very well. It's getting a lot of sun, way too much sun. And so it's having trouble growing fruit. It's having trouble keeping its leaves. It's drying out. These leaves are super dry. They're almost cracking in my hand. So this is the first tree that I noticed and it's not doing too well. So I'll show you guys some other trees that are actually bearing fruit so you can get to see. Just want to show you guys so you get to see the leaves, what they look like, the shape of them, how they grow and how we can tell the difference between a cacao tree and other trees. So notice the shape of the leaves, the color of the leaves. We'll go on, we'll find another tree that I saw and show you guys one that's actually bearing fruit and uh, how it's growing. It's growing in the shade. This one's out here in the sun. It's not doing too well. So let's keep going and let's go find another tree. So again, what are we looking for? We're looking in the shade areas of this jungle to look for the cacao trees that really blossom, that really flourish. They come from the shady areas. So we'll show you, turn around and right behind me, you see is a really dense jungly area. And so in the shade areas where we're looking, we'll look for those signature leaves that, uh, that we can really tell the cacao tree by. And then we'll look to see if any are bearing fruit. So let's look around. All right, so I spotted some here in this backyard. I spotted the leaves. They're getting a little bit of sunlight right now. So I just saw the leaves and I looked on the trunk. We got some pods growing off. So let's peek in and let's see. And you can see the pods growing off the base of the tree. And this is just in someone's backyard here. Dog sleeping under the tree. Beautiful pods growing off, a light green color. Those look like that looks like a healthy tree. This doesn't look like somebody harvesting cacao, right? So my thought is that it's got to grow wild here because if somebody's got this in their backyard, I don't think that they're harvesting cacao. I think that this is just growing wild. So let's go find the other tree that I saw earlier with even more fruit coming off of it. And we'll go, then we'll go on the hunt for some wild cacao. So let's go. So here we are, another backyard, another cacao tree. This one's got a couple pods growing off of it. It's a little bit in the sun, so it might not be super healthy. However, there is some pods growing off of it. As you can see, the signature leaf pattern, signature color leaves growing in the trees. And you can see a couple of little pods growing off the base there. So that last one actually looked like after I looked at it a little bit more, it looked like a much healthier tree. Now, the base of it only had a couple pods growing off of it. Up higher in the tree, there was a lot of pods growing off of the branches. So the pods grow off the base. It also grows off a lot of the branches. That one actually looked pretty healthy for being so much in the sun. It was pretty surprising. It was nice though to see such a healthy, vibrant tree growing just in someone's yard. You know, this is not, like I said, doubt that there's any cacao cultivation going on. I think I see some more here. It's growing all over the place here. This is wild. So after we go to this next spot, we'll zoom in on these trees. We're going to walk out away from town a little bit and see if we can get up close. I don't want to go into anybody's yard, touching their tree and bothering them. So we're going to go out in the wild and see if it really does just grow wildly. So let's go see this last tree and then We'll go for a walk into the wild. So this is the first one that I noticed yesterday, just walking down the street. And if you notice under this big tree here, growing underneath it, 
there's cacao trees growing. I first noticed the leaves, the signature color, the signature pattern of the leaves. And then I looked in the stump and I saw a bright yellow cacao pod growing off. I got super excited and thought, okay, I'm definitely coming back here. So we'll zoom in a little bit. However, in this backyard, there's several of the trees underneath the trees. And this is the ideal growing situation for cacao. It's got tons of shade, as you can see. It's almost hidden right now because it's underneath the big tree in the shade. This is all cacao right here. And behind those other trees, underneath those, also cacao trees growing. And these trees seem to be super healthy. They're not super big. However, they've got big plump cacao pods growing off the base of the tree and probably a lot along the branches. It's really hard to tell because they're growing so well, so dense. And there's another one that's off to the side over a little bit here. It doesn't look as healthy and you can tell it's getting a lot of sun right here. And this is not the ideal situation. So it seems like at some point this was a great place to grow cacao. And this backyard specifically, it's just growing wild underneath the big trees. I'm not sure if this family cultivates it or not. However, there's a lot of cacao going in there, a lot of trees growing underneath the big trees, and it's really thriving here. So again, walking down the street, I noticed the signature leaf pattern. And just here off to the side behind this construction land, you can see the leaves growing. That's a cacao tree right there. And it's growing wildly, growing crazy, growing big. And this is next to a block yard where they're making construction blocks. Now this area, Frontera, where Frontera Corazal is, is very rich in tradition and culture that dates back thousands of years. It's nestled right alongside the Usumacinta River, which borders Mexico and Guatemala. So right on the other side of the river, if you land on the other side, you're in Guatemala. And this river is known as the River of Lost Cities. Now all along this river, there's literally hundreds of archeological sites. Some have been uncovered and discovered, many of which have only been heard about or briefly encountered by the locals. So it's a really fascinating area here. I came here a couple months ago, first, my first time going to Yashilan. It was an incredible experience. We also heard about a site just a little bit further up the river, Piedras Negras, that has some of the earliest references to cacao in pieces that have been taken from this site. It's one of the earliest uh, sculptures of a essentially what is a cacao ceremony comes from Piedras Negras, where it was a sculpture of a government meeting with the leaders of Yashilan coming and it references that they were drinking cacao during this gathering on this sculpture. Really fascinating stuff and so all along this river there's a really deep rich history of cacao so it's really no surprise that it's growing wild here in the jungles as this may have been area where they they pulled cacao from thousands and thousands of years ago to give to the leaders of the local areas. This was also the river was a trade route so it's very likely that there could have been stopping posts along this way where people were cultivating cacao where they can come in grab some more cacao and keep going up the river. Who knows what the stories are that come from this area thousands of years ago. We're barely scratching the surface and we're just going to find out if when we go into the jungle can we find some cacao trees, can we find it growing just wildly, or are people just here here still just connected to this sacred plant cultivating it for their own personal use. There's only one way to find out and that's going into the jungle. So I'm going to take a couple more minutes, chill out in the shade. It's hot here. You probably can see I'm sweating. Then we'll go off into the jungle before it gets dark and the mosquitoes really come out. My legs are already getting bit up, so I don't want to stay out there too long. It gets really brutal. However, we'll go out there and see what we can find as we go off the beaten path and go into the jungle. So I'm going to take a few moments to regroup, drink some actually cacao. I brought some cacao with me, didn't bring some water. Not a great idea. However, I do have some cacao, so I'll drink some cacao, which will help me get in that state, get in that vibration, and it'll help attract me towards the cacao that I feel is hiding just out there in the jungles.
Though I'm out here flirting with disaster, there is definitely no trails here. Each step is a potential disaster. I'm walking through this dense brush and I see the leaves of cacao scattered throughout this super dense portion. I mean, there's like a wall here of jungle that I'm up against and I'm trying to get closer. However, like I said, each step and I'm afraid to even stay in one spot for too long because there are spiders, there are snakes, there are monkeys, there are all kinds of creatures and critters out here that uh, see me as an enemy. So we'll see how much closer we can get. Uh, I might want to try a different route because like I said, there is definitely no path here and I am just stepping on all kinds of stuff and I'm a little afraid of what I'm stepping on here. So I'm going to keep it moving and let's see what we can find. Let's go. I don't know what I was walking through. However, I am definitely not prepared for this trek. Let's see how much further we can go. Pan around a little bit so you can see. I mean, there's no roads coming out here. This is nobody's backyard. This is just wilderness. And here we have cacao. Little baby pod. Even smaller baby pod. And this one's a rotting pod. This one's coming along. All right, so let's talk a little bit about cacao growing. Now, cacao is a really finicky tree, and that's why we're on the hunt for this. It, it growing in the wild is a really special thing because cacao trees are very hard to cultivate, and uh, they grow in only specific regions of the world under specific temperature, specific humidity. They're very specific onto where they will grow. And here in this region, it's been known for a long time that cacao can thrive. And so it's really no surprise that we find it growing in the wild. I mean, I am a little surprised that it's still here. However, it's a region that is known for being able to grow cacao. I mean, cacao has grown in Mexico for a long time. And it's a region with a tropical, very humid climate. And this is why cacao is able to grow here and cacao is not able to grow in regions that are higher elevation uh, lower temperature uh, it needs a very specific temperature very specific humidity in order to grow um, Hershey's and several of the other large chocolate companies are genetically modifying some of their trees to make them so that they can grow and withstand different conditions so they can grow much wider uh, crops, much bigger crops. Now, this obviously is much different. These cacao trees growing here in the wild, not genetically modified, thriving in their real environment. And this produces a much higher quality cacao, a much better, more natural cacao. And it's organic, right? Because it's growing in the wild. So there's no um, harsh chemicals. There's no pesticides that are being used on them. And cacao is a very sensitive tree, a very sensitive plant. So anytime you put anything like that in it, it's definitely getting into the fruit and definitely having an effect. So that's some of the history, some of the stuff, some of the specifics about how cacao grows, where it grows. It'll only grow between 20 degrees north and 20 degrees south of the equator. It will not grow anywhere outside of that region. And most of the cacao grown in the world today is grown in Africa. It's the highest percentage cacao producer. However, it's been known for a very long time that cacao, the highest quality cacao, is produced here in Mexico, in Chiapas actually, for thousands of years. Um, even the Aztecs were very specific on getting their cacao from Chiapas. 
So I think that's going to do it. I don't know if I can handle getting bit anymore. We found cacao out in the wild. Um, I might do a little bit more searching. We'll see how we go. However, I think you guys get a good overview of how cacao grows, where it grows, and that it's growing wildly here in the jungles of Chiapas, Mexico, in the La Candonia jungle. So I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I might add some more tags on. However, that's about... I need a break. It's hot. It's hot out here. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the resort, to the hotel, um, cool off a little bit, and uh, just see how all this came out. So thanks, thanks everybody for going on this adventure to, with me to find this wild cacao here in the jungles and go on this adventure. You guys are lucky you didn't have to get bit up. You didn't have to sweat. You got to sit at home and watch this. So stay tuned for another adventure and let's see where we go to next. Peace out.